Hey guys, Thunder E here, and as you've seen clearly, I finally got my hands on another foldable device. I'm talking about the Motorola Razr. Now, if you're as old as me, you remember the old Razr. If you're young, you're going, okay, this is a pretty cool looking foldable. Now, as you know quite well on this channel, anytime we get a brand new device, the first thing we do is we play some games on here. And of course, I got to play Call of Duty Mobile, check it out. But before we get into gameplay in a second, let's just talk about what we have here. That is truly unique. Now, in terms of size and footprint, when it is folded, it is the same size as the original Motorola Razr. It is thin, it is small, it is very pocketable. So you put it in your pocket, it slides right in. I mean, it fits in any pocket or pouch or purse, if you will. Now, uh, when you open it up, it's got a 6.2 inch display. Uh, this is a, a nice display. It looks pretty nice and vibrant. Uh, the display also is a foldable display, but you really can see the crease here because they've got uh, a really cool hinge mechanism with sliding plates. So it folds flat. It folds literally flat whenever you fold it or open it up, uh, as you can clearly see. Now, this is powered by the Snapdragon 710 processor. So this is not, of course, uh, your top tier processor, but Motorola is focusing on design and functionality. A lot of the components are packed into the chin where you have, of course, the speaker, a USB type C port, your antennas as well. It's powered by, again, like I mentioned, Snapdragon 710, as well as six gigs of RAM in the device. Now, what about gaming and gameplay? Now we played Call of Duty Mobile on its max setting, so we got to see how that actually looked on the system. And without wasting any more time, let's jump in. So there is something to be said though about gaming on this device. It gained really well. What I liked about it is as you bend and fold the device while gaming, it felt really rigid and solid. Um, you know, just navigating on that screen. Again, it's kind of like a 21 by nine aspect ratio. So it's much wider. It felt good. I, f I felt like I got a good uh, field of view. In terms of temperatures, it ran really hot quickly. Again, this is not a final device, so I can't give you a gauge on that. They will change a couple of things, I'm sure, before it actually finally launches and maybe software tweaks and things like that. But you do have that in mind. Speakers were also were decent, but it was in, uh, of course, a hands-on scenario, so you couldn't gauge the speakers fully. But I will do all those tests for you once it actually comes out fully. Device, it will be launching in January 2020. Uh, Pre-orders start in December, so take it as you will. Pricing is $1,500 for the device. But if you're a Verizon customer, you can get it for $62 a month in terms of their pricing uh, scale. Now, the device is really unique. I mean, you've got a front display that acts as your notification display. You can quickly re respond to people, check out notifications. You don't have to open up your device. 
so you don't feel tethered to it, uh, but you can use that front display as with the rear camera, which is a 60 megapixel camera, to of course take your selfies, you twist and unlock your device, you can start shooting photos and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. The camera will go into different modes automatically for you into like portrait, or it will go into night mode, whatever situations you fall into. They said they've got those abilities there, but we didn't spend a lot of time with that. Don't know the battery size yet because they didn't talk about this, but I have to say though, the hinge feels really good. The display is really, really solid. It is water scratch resistant as well. So you've got that built in there. It closes flat, it fits into your pocket well, and it does handle Call of Duty well enough. So I really can't complain there. So I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think about the Motorola Razr? Do you think this is a device that uh, you would like to pick up? Do you like this idea of a foldable phone that folds that opens up instead of opens out, right? Let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.